Three, two, one. What's up, everybody? We're outside of Regal, where we just got a chance to go watch Venom, There Will Be Carnage. First off, thanks to everybody at Regal. It's another good experience. I always like coming here. Uh, second, holy shit, was that movie some bonkers insanity. <laughs> For one, I mean, the action was Non-stop, wall to wall. Yeah, almost. yeah, it was all over the place. Uh, and it was good action. It wasn't crappy action. It wasn't stupid jump cuts. I mean, it all had, like, a good purpose, which was Boy. nice. Uh, for two, the setting. I mean, I grew up in California. I've been in San Francisco lots of times. All the places you see in this place are places that I've been probably five or ten times each. Including that beach scene? Inclu- uh, the, the, I don't Why know where the, the beach, beach was at. But. The, not the beach. The, the picture. The rocks and the... You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I, I, I don't know that that area actually exists okay, as its name, but enough. I mean, that that's what it looks like all of it on the West Coast, but I digress. <laughs> but, uh, and, and the characters, holy shit, I mean, first off, one of the things I really dig about this, and we're not going to go into too many spoilers until we do our thing on Thursday, but one of the cool things about it is, is it's a, a really strange love story between Venom and Eddie. True. It's it, it, it really, the personal aspect of the film does focus a lot on them and their relationship to one another. This kind of weird, I mean, symbiotic, obviously, relationship. They both need one another for various reasons. And a lot of this movie, as far as the personal stuff is concerned, is about them realizing that. And then coming to that to grips on exactly how their relationship was going to work. Because when we leave them at the end of the first Venom movie, it's not really defined what they are. We just kind of leave them there. And then we pick up this movie with the struggle that they each have trying to live with one another. So it really is kind of a weird relationship movie as far as they are concerned. It I doesn't, mean, it's a weird relationship movie the whole way around because there's yeah. a lot going <laughs> on with uh, Cletus as well. That's a whole love triangle kind of deal as well yeah there really is a lot of it's it is this really strange love story i've heard a lot of people say that there's a lot of natural born killers in this and i gotta tell you i this could almost in spots anyway with the cletus cassidy character this could have served as a sequel to that movie almost because a lot a lot of woody harrelson's character i mean it really does mirror his character from that movie from natural born killers oh, it's so good uh, yeah he it, plays it, it so well too oh my god i am 100 percent certain at this point that woody harrelson may be one of the top five <laughs> american actors ever woody I mean, harrelson I, might actually be a serial killer he may <laughs> Hey, actually, we, we, if, if he is, I'm sure he's fantastic uh. at it. But, but I mean, yeah, he's he is so good in just about everything oh, you man. see him in anymore. But, uh, yeah, this movie was was something special. I don't want to go into too many spoilers, but all I will say... Watch and the credits. look at the expression on our face when I say this. Post-credit scene. That shit oh was fucking shut, crazy. Shut the fuck I, up. I literally stood up <laughs> in my chair and said, shut the fuck up. Out in loud. the middle of a theater full of people, uh, he had a very visceral ooh. reaction. And I was at a loss for words, which is not something that is normal for me. But uh, he, he like reached across and was like... <laughs> I was like, dude, dude. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the post-credit scene is... In a word, significant for what's coming in from a lot Everything. of things. It, it is it is very significant. Now, how it's going to work in the future, I don't know. Honestly, the post as good as the movie itself was, the post credit scene is jaw dropping. Oh yeah, I and mean, we've it, been arguing about it since we walked out the door. So it redefines <laughs> almost everything moving forward for Venom and for a few other people. For a lot of other people, but probably. we're not going to go. But we're not going to go into that until Thursday when we can sit down and do the spoiler discussion on on the channel. So be there. Join us on Thursday so you can hear us all basically lose our shit the way that me and Aaron <laughs> both did about 15 minutes ago. We were oh watching my God. the last few minutes of the movie. But yes, a fantastic movie, better than the first one, I think. There is the only the one post credit scene for those of you out there, and it is a mid credit scene, not yes. post credit. Yes, so. but nonetheless phenomenal. Yes. Uh, so yeah, that's that's our quick out of the theater review for me and Aaron for Venom. Uh, there will be carnage, or let there be carnage. I don't remember what it was called. Let all I know is carnage. it was fucking awesome. Is all I know. So yeah, uh, my my uh, heart rate's at like 150 <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh it's, my god! It's an exciting movie with a gigantic body count. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of blood, but there were some Lots bodies put in the fucking street for this one. So, <laughs> so yeah, it was. I, I'm kind of curious why it didn't make an R rating. I think not having a whole lot of blood that's probably kind of yeah. helped, but there was a whole lot of There bodies. was a fair amount of off-screen stuff, too. We oh, just yeah. saw the bodies at some point. So. Yeah, a lot, a lot of insinuating that this person was torn in half by various symbiotes, but whatever. Uh, amazing. Yeah, go, go definitely if you get a chance, if you're into these kinds of films, go see it. It's well worth it. And yes... There will be canapes, and there will be canapes. You'll you'll understand when you see the, when you see when you see the movie. But uh, yeah, come back Thursday. Come and hang out with us while we do our spoiler review. We'll see you later. Peace.